Good morning. I hope everything's going great in your life today. I hope you had a great opportunity to worship the Lord with God's people somewhere yesterday. And, and I hope that you plan this coming Sunday to worship the Lord with a group of people that, that love the Lord and strive to be everything He calls us to be. If you happen to be in the Lone Oak, Arkansas area, we'd love to have you come and, and visit with us and be part of our assembly on this coming Sunday. Think about a, a simple uh, question today. Why in the world does God choose who he does to do his work? One of the most intriguing things to me in reading, especially through the Old Testament, was God's choices of people that might be the leaders or might be the ones that accomplished his purposes in the world. And, and most of the time, his choices seemed odd to the world. Think about when, when God called Moses at 80 years of age and he's out in the wilderness taking care of his father-in-law's sheep. And, and God says to Moses, you're going to be the one to go back. I, I've chosen you. You remember Moses' response? Lord, surely there's someone else that can do this. I, I can't talk well. I stutter. Man, I'm, I'm just not the guy. And yet, God would do amazing things through Moses. He would be a leader like no other leader. He would be the man that was so great that God would say to him, I'm going to raise up a prophet like you to be that one that is the Messiah. And Christ himself was said to be one like Moses. So God chose him. Moses had a hard time believing it. Think about another occasion. When, when God chose Jeremiah, the great weeping prophet, Jeremiah said, I, I'm way too young. I'm, I'm just... I'm just a child. How can I be the one that goes out and speaks for you? And yet God said, I'm going to be with you. I'll, I'll control your tongue. I'm going to speak through you. When God called Isaiah, the great messianic prophet, in Isaiah chapter 6, Isaiah describes how he went into the house of God and he said, I saw God high and lifted up and and around him were the cherubim and and they were saying holy 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 lord god almighty and jeremiah i mean isaiah's response was woe is me i'm undone i'm a man of unclean lips i dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips now, God's response was to send his angel with a coal of fire and touch the tongue of Isaiah the prophet. And then God would say, who will go for us and who can I send? And Isaiah responds, here am I, send me. Imagine for a minute being with, with Jesus on that day when he chose the 12 men that were going to be his apostles, his ambassadors to the world. And, and if you looked out on that group of men, oh, there were lots of disciples around, but he chose 12. Four of them made their living as fishermen. One of them was a tax collector. One of them was a zealot. And if you could have chosen two people that were more unlikely to be able to work together than Simon the zealot and Matthew the tax collector, I don't know how in the world you could have found them. And yet God took this group together. Those who were ordinary, untrained, People that were, were just the common folk in life. And he made them the great apostles that, that were so 
powerful in the eyes of God that when he pictured heaven itself, he would have those foundations on the apostles. And he pictured them with 12 thrones that they would sit with him in the glory land. God saw something amazing in them. I think about the fact that most of us struggle uh, and, and even wonder, Lord, how in the world could you use me? I, I, I'm not that great talented. I'm not that one that, that would be seen as, as above others in some way. And God reaches out and pulls us up. Young, old, those that don't have very much, those that may not fit in in every... God chooses most often those who think, surely not me, Lord. And yet, when God is working with us and using us and guiding us and filling us with His Holy Spirit, it's absolutely amazing what God does through ordinary people to accomplish extraordinary things in his world. Listen, all of us are made in the very image of our almighty God. And when you fill us with the Spirit of God, it is absolutely amazing what God can do through each of us. Let him use you.